Hey guys, it is Forum Blanco and I wanted to make a story time video telling you guys what the fuck happened to me this weekend. So now, a little fun fact if you guys didn't know. I do not do private parties, okay? I don't do bachelor parties. I don't do shit outside of the strip club, okay? Outside of my bedroom for my man. I don't do nothing else. Um, so... Before I begin into telling you guys this little horror story that happened this weekend, let's get into this sexy two-piece outfit and Taste Sinful is up and running. My website is ready to go, but don't forget to add um, me on Instagram. My personal um, Instagram will be linked down below as well as Taste Sinful's Instagram will be linked down below. Let's do a little back action. So this outfit is super, I don't know why I did that, you guys, that's a funny bit. Um, this outfit is super comfortable, super sexy, it has a good stretch on it, um, I'm loving the off the shoulder on this summer, I just love it. Um, it has nice little puffy sleeves to it, nice detail, tie at the bottom, um, high waist shorts, I'm loving the high waist shorts, you know, ladies, you gotta in there um but yes super sexy i do encourage ladies to go a size down i am normally a medium in clothes i am a small in my clothes so they are filled in clothes anyway let's get into this horror story so i do not do okay private parties bachelor parties just like i mentioned um i do not do that and I'm going to explain why I don't. Well, this story that I'm going to tell you is why the fuck I don't do that. So now, Saturday night, this past Saturday, um, my girl hits me up. And she's like, hey, girl, do you want to do this um, birthday party with me? And I'm like, hey, girl, absolutely not. No, I don't do birthday parties. She's like, why not, girl? It's going to be, you know, it's going to be ballers. It's going to be, you know, there's going to be doctors there. There's going to be police officers there. It's at a restaurant. It's going to be super legit. My friend's boyfriend is hosting the party, and he's looking for dancers. So I'm like, okay. And then she's, you know, talking to me. So I'm like, so what's going to be the walkthrough numbers? You know, what are they going to be looking like? So, you know, she told me a good prize that I wanted to hear. So I'm like, fuck it. I'll do it. Why not? Um. So, you know, and it's going to be plus tips. So the walkthrough is just basically is going to be just upon my arrival, hand me my check, please. Thanks. Anyway, so um, I'm like, cool. I get in my car, you know, nighttime comes anyway. I get in my car and she gets there. She gets to the restaurant, the party before I do. And she's all like, girl, she sends me a text message. Now, I'm already 20 minutes away from my house. She's like, Girl, I'm not even gonna lie to you. It's the boys up in here. Now, I'm like, my first thing is like, girl, how in the fuck do you get from doctors, police officers to drug dealers? How? How? So anyway, I'm like, well, you know what? Fuck it. I'm here. You know, I'm already on my way. And she's like, girl, you know, it's it's gonna be good. Don't worry. Um, you know, it, it, we're going to be taken care of. My, my girl's, um, boyfriend's going to be taken care of us, whatever. So I'm like, okay, fuck it. If I don't feel, you know, if I start feeling uncomfortable, I'm just going to dip. Um, so anyway, I get there and I'm thinking for some reason, you know, I'm going to get to like a high end restaurant. I don't know. Girl, if I don't, I get to somebody's fish and fry food place. I mean, there was fucking, it was slippery. The ground, the floor, and the restaurants had like a little uh, 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 film of grease, a layer of grease on the damn floor. Um, yeah, it was, it was, it was about 50 niggas up in there. Like, it was ghetto. Ghetto. Girl, I'm like, what in the fuck is this? I'm like, <sighs> Anyway, so there was four other dancers there. I'm not sure if they had hired these girls, like found them off of a website, off of the fucking, the whole stroll. I don't know where they found these hoes at. But they was there. 
one of them happened to be somebody's granny. I am no joke. This bitch had to be in her mid 50s, okay? So I'm just like, okay, you know what? I just need a drink because this shit right here, uh uh, uh uh. Um, so anyway, we go to the back, you know, as we start to get changed, I meet, um, you know, the host and I collect my fee, my dough. Thank you. Um, so we get changed. Um, as soon as we walk out there, you know, this elderly woman, the stripper, the dancer, um, I mean, she already, I mean, it's down or not even 12 o'clock. This bitch has her whole pussy out. It's just asshole naked. She got her fucking legs wrapped around her head, her neck like a pretzel girl. Her pussy was out in Jesus Christ. Anyway, I'm like, well, I hope that they don't think that we're going to get naked because I, I'm, shit, I wasn't even paid enough to get topless, honey. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, so we go to the bar. We're getting drinks and, um... This guy, he comes up to us, and I'm like, he's like, oh, why don't you guys go out there? I'm like, no, nah, we're going to wait until, because they're throwing money. There's, you know, money being thrown, at least. Um, and I told him, I'm like, no, we're going to wait for the girls to get off of stage, um, because we don't want any, you know, conflicts uh, with the money. And yeah, because basically what was going to happen was is those four girls... And it wasn't even on no stage. It was literally, they were dancing on the ground. It was like a circle of guys, and we were dancing in the middle. That was that. So, um, yeah, that it was no stage. So, anyway, I'm like, no, we're going to wait until they get off of stage or off of the floor for us to get on um, so we can, we don't get, you know, our money's mixed up. Because I'm not splitting money with eight other bitches that I don't fucking know from a campaign. So, anyway, um, they get off of stage. We start dancing with the birthday boy or whatever. They're throwing money. They're throwing 20s, 5s, whatever. Um, we get a bag. We get a garbage bag. We're putting all of our money inside of it. We're trying to collect it. All of a sudden, this granny and then this other little nasty, dry bitch comes up. Now, this granny is asshole naked. She, the, the, the birthday boy is laying down on this nasty, greasy floor, okay? Um, he's laying there. This bitch comes up, squats, and puts her pussy, is like basically right in his face. Like, oh, bitch. Anyway... That's not even the problem. The problem was is that the bitch came when she when she went to do that, okay? She stepped on our bag of money and it put a hole in our bag, right? So our money comes out. So I'm trying to grab our money and the guys are still throwing money because the girls are dancing on him. So I'm grabbing like, bitch, you just disrespected us, all right? We sat there, we waited for you guys to get off. I mean, your guys' turn, you know. So now you wait for us. You know, it's just proper etiquette. So, I'm like, you bitch, you got us totally fucked up. So, without even saying anything to the bitch, I'm kindly snatching her money. There's 20s being thrown and everything else. I'm snatching her money. I got my girl. She's snatching money, too. Shit. So, we go in the back. We're splitting up the money. We're like, you know what? We're good. We're out of here. Peace out. I don't got time to be fighting with no bitches over this money. I mean, they need it, especially Granny. She knows she needed it more than us. Um, you know, so I'm like, fuck that. We're we're good. We're out. Like, peace, love. I already got my walk through money. Um, and we na we made good, some good um tip money out there. So it's like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm out. Shit. Anyway, so. The, the music is super loud. It's blasting. We're in the bathroom. We're just splitting up the money between uh, amongst the three of us. Um, then the grandma comes into the bathroom. And, you know, we check her about it like, girl, you know, like when you were out there, you stepped on our bag and it caused it to rip and, you know, some of our money fell out. And she's like, well, I didn't know what you guys were talking about. I didn't see anything. Bitch, you came and you sat there. You came. You walked your little, you walked your old ass up there, right? To sit on his face, you, I mean, okay, shit happens, but how she was getting at us, you know, and, like, trying to, like, 
look, I, I don't know what the fuck she was saying. Because, like I said, the music was too loud. My friend is sitting there trying to, you know, go back for I'm like, look, I'm not even going to go back for with you. Point blank period. You guys ripped our back. Our money, you know, spilled out. I mean, it is what it is. So, I don't have time to be sitting there fighting with no bitch. And no, oh, bitch over, you know, like, my, you know, it's just not whatever. You know what? I don't got time for it. I'm good. This party's already ghetto as hell. Um, so that's my feelings about it. I was going to split this money and peace out. So, um, anyway, we're done splitting up the money. We get changed. We're going to walk out. As soon as we walk out, a girl is walking in. Okay, one of the dancers is walking in. Her head is leaking blood, like literally leaking blood. Um, and then a guy was like, I, I guess the guy had punched her in the head. I don't know if he was wearing a ring or what, but he punched the bitch and her head was leaking blood. I'm not sure what the fuck the argument was about, but yeah, that shit was crazy. I was like, oh, no, 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 no. I'm good, love. Enjoy. <laughs> Peace out. I don't got time for no weird shit. I gotta go. So, um, I left. I got in my vehicle. Drove my happy ass right on home. Um, yeah. So, that's basically, that was basically my worst nightmare of why I don't do private parties. Is because of that particular reason. Because, you know, we don't know if these guys are going to rape us, kidnap. I mean, it's always good to bring a male, um, you know, like a security guard kind of type of a guy up in there. Um, or maybe a female in there. You know, somebody. I don't know. But that's why I don't do them kind of things. Is because shit like that. That man literally gashed that bitch's head. That girl was leaking blood. I'm like, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. I don't know what the fuck they were arguing about, but honestly, no man should be putting their hands on no girl. Point blank, period. <laughs> Especially for her to be late. I mean, that was crazy. So anyway, I'm like, oh, no, no, no. I don't know what the fuck happened. I don't know what they were arguing about, but I had left, and that's why I don't do private parties. Is that why I don't do private parties? Bam, right there. <laughs> right there. Is because of shit like that. I mean, that was just crazy. Um, so I guess I wasn't having to worry about kicking no bitch ass shit. The niggas already did it for us. God damn. <laughs> but um, yeah, so that's my little story time, you guys. Um, me and my husband. Um, I think that maybe tonight we'll work on a video answering some of your guys' questions. I might do a part two to this video, but before this gets too long. Um, I'm gonna just wrap that up. Um, let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Um, also, if you guys have a topic for me to talk about, let me know about that too. Um, or any questions uh, about private parties that you guys have, um, comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram. All that good stuff will be linked down below. Bye, guys.